Hello, everybody! <laughs> Welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon. Farewell to Arms Lich Streaks. We're on a Farewell to Arms Lich Streak of 20. Total Lich Streak? Two, 240 or something? I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm tilted. I'm tilted from the last video yesterday. It's been two days since I've recorded and I'm still tilted. I'm still tilted. If you don't know what happened, it's a must see. I'm going to try to put it past me. Let's roll our die. We got a four. One, two, three, four. Ah, boy. Maybe we'll get the high dragon fire today. Maybe there's some sort of pity, pity stat in the game that I've now just got like a skyrocketed pity stat. Could be, could be. I don't think so, though. I think that we are going to have to wait another 900 hours to find another high dragon fire chest, and hopefully we don't have the one in a thousand chance of it being a glitch chest. What are the odds? Like, someone told me the odds are probably, probably close to, probably close to one in a million. That doesn't sound right to me. It sounds like, I mean, because the fact of the matter is, just because it's the glitch chest, or the, uh, the high dragon fire chest, it didn't mean that it was a, uh, a one in a thousand, because it's it just, oh, wait, what am I saying? It's a one in a thousand, any chest, even including that chest. But what are the odds that someone finds the high dragon fire chest? I think it's the statistic you need to run past it. The average person, you know, playing the game, what what's the chance that they're going to even find the high dragon fire chest? Run that by a thousand. I'd say that it's, it's clearly like, it's got to be closer to like the fact that somebody would see it. Closer to at least one in ten thousand, which seems insane. Maybe, maybe even worse. I don't know. Stats are not my forte. My forte is having things not go my way. And <laughs> enter the dungeon. But alas, alas, we are here indeed. We're playing the marine. We got ourselves the vanilla. We got some sprinkles that we will hopefully add on over the course of the run to make our flavor a little bit more unique. I don't know. My, I'm, just, I'm feeling crazy, man. Let's just open this up. Mega Man run? All right. Choose your fighter. We, we chose Mega Man. I'm just a... I'm a lazy man. What can I say? I just... I don't want to wait. I want a gun. It's my money. I want it now. JG... What is that? JG Wentworth? I don't know. I'm not an ad. I'm not an ad. I'm only an ad for myself. Everybody, Rushmation.chrono.gg. You can buy video games on that website. Now I'll get a cut of any purchase on there. Oh my goodness, what an ad. Flawless. Flawless. Yeah, JG went with. Not an ad. Patreon.com slash Rushmation. Not an ad. I ain't an ad for nobody but me, man. I don't sell out for any anybody but myself and Arby's. Arby's. Eat food. I, knew, I was going to say eat fresh, but I know that's Subway. I know that's Subway, which I do not endorse in any way. A place I used to work, I used to work at a, at a truck stop that had a Subway in it. The truckers would, would come in very upset, very just like, you know, they, they just were not having a good time. Or like they were in their truck for forever. It's their first person they saw in hours and hours and hours they get their sub sandwich which is not a great sandwich a lot of the time you know just like a not gonna melt your mind or anything and then they come talk to this this guy behind the counter me and I'm like I basically was I don't know how to explain it too well but I guess what I'll say is the I was basically in charge of giving some of these people their paychecks and it was my first job ever. And I wasn't very good at doing said thing. Oh my god. We gotta run. We gotta run. Son, we gotta run. So it was not a great it was not a great time. But at, among that job, many okay and unhealthy perks. One of the things I got was uh half off subway once every single time I worked. I didn't love Subway before that, and I definitely don't now after, you know, like, cause you don't just, if you're working at a place that has food and you can get 50% off, you just, you eat that food. It's just what happens. 
And uh, I had a little bit too much of that. A little too much of that. Subway. Subway. Don't eat Subway. Now you can tell that I'm not an ad. Shadow clone, though. Drill, though. This is just... Look at all of these absolute banger space bar item supremes that we are not going to be able to pick up. Somebody get this man a backpack. Get this man a backpack. We got the crash bomber. Ah. Uh, seems like it might be quieter than... Oh. We take those. Seems like it's quiet, quieter than the, uh... It is! Oh my god! A usable bullet bore, because it doesn't grate my ears. It's OP. It's OP, man. Good synergy. Good synergy. I never raided it, because I just, like... I hate the sound of the bullet bore so much. It's just too... It's too... Loud compared to the rest of the sound effects in the game. I wish they would take whatever mix the mixing they did on this one. Tetrominator, I wish you were good. I wish you were good. Uh, I, I wish they took the sound effect volume of the Crash Bomber <laughs> synergy here and applied it to the, the bullet four. Oh my goodness. E3, guys. E freaking three, the uh, Nintendo Direct. At this point, okay, behind the curtain. That's the sound of a curtain being open. Uh, this is taking place on the 11th, which is the day of the Nintendo Direct, the final presentation, I guess. Of E3. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. The uh, Animal Crossing looks really good. It looks really delayed, too. I mean, well, three months delayed. It's a, it's a bummer. But I'd rather... So much rather have a game be delayed. Like, we can just use this to talk about. Like, we don't have to talk about Animal Crossing in specific. What's it? Well, segue. I would so much rather have watched that direct, saw the gameplay and everything, and be like, in the position I'm in now where I'm... When that comes out... I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be a very good Animal Crossing game when it comes out. My bad scenario would have been if it was like, if it was releasing roughly when I thought it was, and it just looked like trash. Like, there's no animals in it. There's no crossing in it. There's, is there, there's no crossing in Animal Crossing. What's going on? I want my money back. Yeah, I, it just, it, it looks good. It's on a deserted island. I don't know if anybody cares about Animal Crossing. I'm, okay, statistically, a chunk of you care about Animal Crossing. Statistically. But, um, it looks good. It's on a deserted island, and you slowly build it up. It looks like it's got a little, little bit of extra customizability about, like, how you can choose to play the game. And there's, like, more actual interactivity in the game, everything like that. Your boy is excited. Your boy is gonna play it. For sure. I just don't like this item. What can I say? Except, you're welcome. Also, I can say that I don't like it. This has happened three runs in a row, though. I would be livid if I cared. It happened on stream. I would be livid if I cared. It's like the internet. This would outrage me if I had a reason to be outraged by it. I'm kind of thinking of switching the Darum, the Daruma for the uh, the drill. I really wish we could just have all three, man. I really wish. But you can't always get what you want. I'm trying to check the uh, damage of the seams. Pretty good. Pretty good to passable. We don't really have to aim it at all. We know it's going to do the same amount of damage no matter what we do here. We got some Darum and we ain't even using man. Man. Oh, that was doing damage without even hitting the gore gun. Ah. You'd like to partake in the memes, I see. Ah! 
We take those. We definitely take those. Do we take these though? We've had Daruma quite a bit and I don't care about the Ring of Miserly Protection and anybody who gets upset with me for selling that, you are relying on your art containers too much. Grow up. It's just, a, it's, it's a, it's a fine item. It's like, if you can get it on floor five, <laughs> then it's like, okay, then it's pretty exciting. That was so cool. This is actually banging now. Oh, ooh, mama. Ooh, mama. One got away. So it should get a damage penalty, but I don't know. I still, to this day, don't exactly know how the damage penalty works with explosions. It seems like it's making pretty good work of everybody. Yep. Bip, 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 bip. <laughs> gotta, gotta do it to him. I don't care how risky that was, how stupid it looked. It was cool to me. I say it's cool, Mom. All right. But yeah, we got a, we got a, a run going, just like out of this, out of this, all alone. Hell, we can switch to this too. Oh! Oh! The volume is down. Seems like it might be a little bit louder. Oh my goodness. Now we have two ways to do it to him. Blip. Oh my god. We can get a back to back banger situation going on. Table tech stun. We take those. We take those. We take those. Do they, do they prioritize ones that don't have the drill on their head? What is this gonna be? A wave of rats? For to open the brown chest? Oh, this is so dang OP. Give it me what? What do I want? What do I even stop with the space bars? I mean, I get it. They're, they're good ones too. Don't get me wrong, but stop with them. Just absolutely stop. Don't really need keys anymore. If we are went out of our way to prioritize getting the drill, we are you better believe we're gonna sit here and not buy keys. Guys, I think we got a really overpowered run. Oops. Scatter shot. Oh my goodness. Like I this run would probably still be OP even with old scatter shot, but favorite change of the dang update. Scatter shot is not bad anymore. Also, you know what? Hidden MVP. Hidden real MVP here. The fact that the bullet bore and the uh, crash bomber synergies don't rip my ears right off of my dang head. With their tinnitus inducing incessant humming and buzzing and whirring. Let's answer some Discord questions. Speaking of incessant buzzing and no, no, I mean, that made it sound like I, I just hit no. Well, some of you. Speaking of poot poot, no. Poot poot asks in the Discord, why is Casey such a loved weapon? I don't understand. Don't understand it. Puts me down to one heart and bullet hell. I threw it in a pit. Uh, you know, I think it's just because the novel, the novel nature of it, and the fact that it's, it's kind of like a mechanic. It's a mechanic in a weapon, which is really interesting and novel. And like for a game that's about like, for a lot of people, it's about being different over time, you know, like making sure all your runs are unique and fun and special. Having a gun, quote unquote gun, and that's the other thing. It's not even a gun. It's pretty neat uh, in this game that has its own, such a strong, unique mechanic to it. The reflecting bullets back. It's like, when you get it to work, it's exciting. Probably inherently in your head, it's probably exciting because it's like, not only am I 
not worried about those bullets anymore, but they are also also, like, also damaged now. Which is probably a lot of the excitement in there. Oh, this is amazing, my man. My man, my woman. My everything. My one and only. My one and only YouTube comments section. You know who you are. Because you heard this. Delicious. We don't need those. It's a coward's treat. I'm tempted to get Machine Pistol just because the synergy is a banger. You know what? Tetrominator. You might have a chance with Scattershot. Woke asks, why don't you put ads on your video? This is like the 100th time I've gotten this. And I do put ads on my videos. So I don't know why people don't get ads. I'm not sure. The question should basically be, why am I not getting ads? Because I don't, I don't know. I don't know the answer. I wish I knew. I would correct it, to be honest. To be honest, I would I would change it. If I knew how. Just gotta be real. So, congratulations, you've won. Random guy asks, what happens if you have two baby dragons at the same time go to the dragon? I imagine you fight one high dragon. <laughs> I have a feeling it would be exactly the same as if you had one. I would be very surprised if anything else happened. Very surprised. We're booking it, man. Oh. Do we use a key legit, legitimate style somewhere? That wasn't on purpose. Oops. Kind of gets like a waste, to be honest. Ba, 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 ba. We got them bees, too. Bees are really good with Scattershot. Anything with homing is extra good with Scattershot because you just don't have to worry. This is effectively got homing. Triple Tiger Uppercut. Oh. We got a Hulk. Hit him with the meat. Hit him with the meat. Slap him. This feels like a waste to use the entire tiger on the little guys, so I kind of want to get him with the meat. The meat does like a very small amount of damage. Triple tiger action. Sounds like a, an action figure commercial from the 90s. Hey, kids. I know <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> Hey kids, I got it. Nah, I got the toy for you. That sounds not like a commercial anymore. We've got the bait launcher with triple tiger action. And Kung Fu Grip. Kung Fu Grip, the hand can squeeze. All oh, take ten. Well, it would be kind of nice to have the room it to him. The Daruma Jamaica, ooh, I want to take you. But alas, you can't always get what you want. Just look at the last episode of this series. You try sometime, get what you need. What I need after that is a hug. Get blowed up. Strange. It's like a damage over time, but not even. Snowballer is probably like not bad. Probably not bad there. Just the ability to freeze easy. Freezy easy peasy. Squeezy. Lemon breezy. Easy. Beautiful cover up. You can use everything on this son of a gun. All of it's quite good. It all has its merits. Thank you for the money. Thanks. I hate it. Give me the Meteor Synergy and I will take that back. Yeah, 
Yeah, ta 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 Can't steal those, apparently. Good deal. Good to know. God, it's so strong! It is unreasonably strong. That is a boss, and that is a... Huh. It's High Priest or, or the Kill Pillars. I can't quite tell. Yep. We got scatter shot for this upcoming room here. I think it'd be it'd be wise to drop it. <laughs> it's but I have to see what would happen. Can we do it? Could this be it? Kind of worked. Kind of worked. Ain't bad. Ain't bad. Hey, hey, hey! Rocket power. Was that kid's name really Squid? No, it wasn't. Was it was it Squid or was it something else? You know what I'm talking about. The one who looked like a like a squished 40 year old man. He was balding and he was like eight. Rocket power. Ah! Oh, I'll just open that up. Who needs a key? Just open that one up straight up so that we don't have to... Don't have to mess with drilling against the black chest because the, um... The waves that you have to fight, I do believe, are supposed to be more challenging. It might be based off of the floor, though. It might be based off of the floor, but it might... I think it's based off of the chest here. Flip. Oh, another wave. Cat. Bad cat. Bad cat, mad cats. Alright. We take those, we take those. We could sell stuff. Pretty easily. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I mean, the good news is we have the cheese. For if he goes away. Does it not work on him? Oh, it does work. Oh, bye! I thought I blanked that. I guess I didn't have a blank. That would probably do it. I was too busy focused on the focusing on the cheese. Megan is such a good gun to get as the um <laughs> the, the this man. The Marine. Cause you get the effects of all three parts of the training manual. We don't take those. Well, we take those and then drop them. We oh, take those and sell those. Thanks for the money, honey. We don't mess with it. Ain't about to assault my eyes. Oh my god. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Not. I believe that is how the line goes. What would we need a key for that we wouldn't be able to use the drill for? Nothing, I don't think. All right. Tom from MySpace asks, hey, Tom, asks, have you ever played d and Indeed. In d and d In fact, I have two parts of a D&D series on my YouTube channel that I did long ago that would have been fun to keep doing, but schedules are hard. Schedules are hard. Time zones are challenging. Which is oft the case. Why it's something that, that has other people goes to the wayside. But yeah, I've definitely, I've, I've definitely dabbled. Hey! Hey! That's a big idea. We got a nice synergy. With Scattershot, too. It's so meme -y. So me, 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 me. I'll take top 10 most useless items for the scenario. It's a daily double. Oh, jeez. I wager everything. 
most useless item on the synergy. I'm gonna go with uh, what is Ring of Chest Vampirism. It might, might end up giving us a, a single heart. Huge emphasis on might. <laughs> and even then, we got two red hearts sitting right there. Leave me alone. What's your favorite gun and why? I asked her that all the dang time. I'm gonna skip that one. Uh, do you know any other languages besides English? Probably talked. I think I've talked about this one before too, but. I know a smattering of of Spanish. I believe that's the next uh, George R. R. Martin book. A smattering of Spanish. Uh, but yeah, I just know a little tiny bit, and a and I know <laughs> faint whispers of Mandarin. I really just most like Spanish. I know a bit. I don't know, I just, I would like to have a second language in my arsenal, but a lot of people, a lot of people in the U.S. don't. I don't know. I don't know, man. Duolingo is, uh, it's doing, it's doing good work. It's doing good work scaring all the, all the children into learning Spanish. And I should take it up again sometime. Flip. Sonic LC asks, "Do you like the Mario and Luigi series?" This is a very apt question that I, I don't talk about the Mario and Luigi series, and it's an apt question because I assume you asked that because my favorite, friend, my favorite games of all time are Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door. Uh, I. I have I bought a I went out of my way I bought like a couple of them just recently for myself to play very soon uh, especially Superstar Saga is the one that I really want to play I played and beat Paper Jam which is the one that has Paper Mario in it and honestly it's like a it's like a better quote unquote Paper Mario game than um I would argue it's like on the same level as, as like Super Paper Mario, as, as like how much of a Paper Mario game it kind of, kind of even is, in a way. Oh. That being said, I, 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 I like Super Paper Mario. Don't get me wrong. I think that uh, Paper Cham is a better pap quote unquote, quote unquote, Paper Mario game, old Paper Mario game, old style Paper Mario game, than uh, Color Splash and Sticker Star, though. I actually genuinely do. Don't even at me. I, I like that one quite a bit. I like that one quite a bit. My only issue with them is the ones that I played, I played that one in Dream Team, and hopefully it's just like the newer ones, but they just, the tutorialization and like everything makes, it just, it feels like it lasts forever. Like they're just like, they just, just are, are sitting there saying, get it, get it. Do you get how to use this until like, and they, very rarely put you in it took like hours and hours and hours to put you in situations where you would actually be able to <laughs> be able to be like hmm do i get this and like sit there and actually try to figure out how to do the puzzle it seemed like there was a couple in like mechanics and things that it just never let you figure that out i don't know it, it never let you just sit and figure it out for a couple mechanics. Some of them it didn't. There were some interesting applications of them later on. But I think that may just be a symptom of the newer newer Mario and Luigi games. I uh, I played and beat Partners in Time and I loved that. I loved Paper Jam. Uh, Dream Team, I can't honestly remember if I even finished it, which is, I guess, not a very good sign. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. But I want to play Bowser's Inside Story. I want to play Superstar Saga. Because I feel like those are the ones that people are kind of more talking about. 
Wax wings. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. It has applications for uh, for bullet hell. But I don't know. What what are the other? There's other ones, aren't there? I'm trying to think. Superstar Saga, Partners in Time, Bowser's Inside Story, Dream Team, Paper Jam. Am I missing any? Huh? Maybe I'm not. I guess I've played like half of them. Well then, interesting. I always feel like I hadn't played very many of them, or any of them. I like them, I like them. A, a, a big thing that I... Oh, blah, 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 I don't really care. Uh, a big thing that I like about the Paper Mario games and the Mario Luigi games is... I like the... I like turn-based combat for strategy reasons, but I don't like how it doesn't feel very active. And that's why I like Paper Mario, uh, Thousand Year Door, and... Mario Luigi games and like Legend of Dragoon, hell even freaking costume quests, uh, because they have, you'd have to do something, you you pick your turn and then you have to like do something, almost almost like a rhythm game, if you're not familiar, and it's really it's really interesting, you have to time your attacks correctly, so it's like it's called action commands in in Mario, uh, Paper Mario, I think it is in Mario and Luigi, but I I like that, I just don't get me wrong, I love turn-based combat I I do I but it's also it just it can be so boring it, it can be so boring so having just something as simple as like something you have to time correctly I I like it I like it what did you have might as well That was ammo. <laughs> ah, boy. I don't care. Kazman03 asks, do you plan on returning to Dead Cells with the new DLC? Uh, yeah, yeah. Probably. I, I just, I don't think it's the last you guys seen, have seen of, of Dead Cells. I, I just need to be in the mood for it, you know? Like, I was planning on doing it live on Twitch, and I probably will still. Maybe I'll do it soon. Maybe I'll do it very soon. But, follow on Twitch.tv slash transformation. To maybe see, to maybe see dead cells there, uh, but it just it took a long time before I was in a situation where I could play things that weren't Gungeon on Twitch, and it just took so long that I kind of I was no longer in the mood to play dead cells anymore, and I just I need to get the mood back. Mood has to strike. It's a very good game. Don't get me wrong, very good game. We don't need to go out of our way down there for that dang muncher. God, I love it. OP, 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 OP. It's so homing that it just shoots behind me, too. It doesn't even care. Physics who? This is the gungeon. Physics don't belong. Whoop. Whoop. Just let it happen. I thought you would be dead! How are you alive? I guess he doesn't... I guess he could take more than one. Fair enough. Should have, I guess, maybe assumed. Pop. Pop. so nice sometimes I feel like I spend just as much time like looking through the map to get to where I would go that <laughs> as I would just like going through the rooms oh, I love this strategy I love using <laughs> using my reflexes too oh my goodness I love just <laughs> flying over a pit in the corner of the room stunning everybody it is fun. It, it sounds like I'm being sarcastic. I, it's it's fun to get these weird things 
that you just aren't going to get again for a long time that are just really, really just stomp the enemies, you know? It just ruins their days. It really seems like it prioritizes unstunned enemies, and that is amazing. Don't be unstunned, son. No seeds on the bun. We'll be up in this drive through order for two. Got a Kraven for number nine, like my shoe. Don't die. <laughs> we're getting kind of like, we're getting a little antsy, man. A little ant -C man. There's the much less successful superhero. He just jumps into battle before the rest of the team. That's just, that's what he does. This should be good. Oh. your chance to shine, Tetrominator. Could be using pretty much anything, you know. And it'd be doing pretty good here, so I'd... really not your chance to shine, but I'm gonna let you shine if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Oh, that was amazing to see. Oh, you love it. To see it. Hit with that long piece. Yeah, even with the scatter shot, which you would think would be the match made in heaven for this gun, it's still kind of like... Eh. Kind of a disappointment gun. Sort of, sort of. I love that it exists, I love the theming. Don't get me wrong there. But it really feels like you have to have Scattershot for it to be fine. And even when you have Scattershot, it seems like it's just, it's not quite as good as the other things we would have. Whoop. Rolled right on into it. We got ourselves the boss here. We are so fine. And not just looks wise. This is good. Seems like the, uh, the Mega Hand synergy was doing a little bit more work than this was. Or this is. Maybe the Tetrominator's not that bad either at all. I mean, you can't stun the boss, so there's a lot lost on... Oh, my God. A lot lost on that. Yeah, this is... The Tetrominator is actually kind of slaying there. Something tells me we got ourselves a streak of 21 and a, and a streak that's legally allowed to drink in the U.S. Whoop. What? A yeah, Tetrominator is it's putting in work. It's putting in work. I take back almost everything negative I said about. That's obviously all, all those hits. Both of them just came from Tetrominator. So, clearly, it must be cast into the fire. Good deal. <laughs> I love that you can tell we got moved because you can, hear the, you can still hear the shots off. Off to the left back over there. Kind of want to be far away because of the, well, because of the bullet. I don't like that. I don't like that layout one bit. Seems like you should maybe be doing more. 
Am I, like, am I insane? Am I greedy for thinking that? Seemed like the Tetrominator was putting in more work. Guys! Maybe I'm crazy. Either way. This sucker's done, man. This sucker's done! We're on a streak of 21! We did it! We did it! Surprising everybody! But that is gonna do it for today. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos. Follow on twitch.tv slash Retromation to catch me streaming games, including Enter the Gungeon Live. Join the Discord in the link in the description if you want to ask questions that'll be answered in videos or to just talk about Enter the Gungeon or whatever the hell you darn well please. Uh, what else, what else? Hell, follow me on Twitter too. Retromation YT. I tweet things. Usually Gungeon things. Also channel update things. Also just cool games from the industry you may be interested in. And sometimes jokes. Sometimes. That's it, that's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. See ya next time.